Have you ever had a car that you love like an old friend? It can be hard to give up a car like that. WCBO 9 News reporter Lucy May tells us how a Montfort Heights woman used to used her beloved car, that is, to help others. Yeah, her name was Sadie, so it was kind of hard to give her up, but she was a good girl. She was a good old girl. Sadie, a 2000 Toyota Avalon, sat in Barbara Fleckenstein's driveway for months after Fleckenstein stopped driving her. I was watching a bit on uh, Channel 9 News regarding donating your vehicle to the car care clinic in Covington. We were very, very fortunate the car Definitely had life left. Bruce Kintner runs Samaritan Car Care Clinic, the ministry WCPO9 featured in January. That couple offered to donate it to the clinic, knowing that we would be able to, in turn, connect, make a connection with someone in need. And that's exactly what we did. I had a family that had been hit by the pandemic and lost a job, and, and it was just very difficult. Their car broke down, and it really was not able to be repaired. Tanya Sloan is coordinator of Campbell County Middle School's Youth Service Center. She is friends with Kintner and connected him with her student's mom in need. The mom didn't want to be interviewed, and we blurred the faces in these photos to protect her privacy, but she wrote a letter for Sloan to read. It says, Dear Little Car Clinic, the pandemic was very rough, on my family and I didn't have a car. When you stepped in to help us, all I could do was cry. So I wanted to say a big thank you to the family that donated the beautiful Avalon car to me this past winter. I was so proud to have such a nice car. It really helped me out and was a timely blessing. I was just very happy that I knew that it was going to a good home, that she was going to a good home and someone would be able to benefit for hopefully a few more years of use. Lucy May, WCPO 9 News. Bruce Kittner tells Lucy that Samaritan Car Care Clinic has more requests for help than it can handle, so the clinic can use all the help it can get from you. You can find more information about how to help in Lucy's story on WCPO.com.